how to bridge to Arbitrum network. In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to bridge to Arbitrum network step by step. Before we can bridge to Arbitrum 1, we need to add this chain to our MetaMask. The easiest way to do this is if you go to chainlist.org and connect your wallet. And here in the search networks, type Arbitrum. You will see Arbitrum 1 chain. And that's the chain you need to add to MetaMask. Let's click here. You will see this MetaMask pop up and it will ask you to add this network. Let's approve. And now let's switch to this network. If you go to MetaMask again, you can see that uh, you have switched to Arbitrum 1. And some important things to keep in mind. The native token on this network is Ethereum. It's the token used for gas fees. If you attempt to send assets directly from one network to another, this may result in permanent asset loss. So make sure to use a bridge. That's what I'm going to show you next. And also your tokens may not automatically show up in your wallet and you will need to manually add them. I also will show you how to do this. Let's click on got it and um, move forward to the bridge. They have their own bridge available at bridge.arbitrum.io but it can bridge assets only from the Ethereum mainnet to the Arbitrum which might be not suitable for you. For example, if you want to bridge assets from Binance Smart Chain or Phantom or any other network I suggest you to use another bridge which is available at defi.crystal.app slash bridge and you connect your MetaMask wallet here and bridge assets between different networks. In my example, I will bridge Ethereum from Binance Smart Chain to Arbitrum. Let's check for Ethereum here. But I don't have any Ethereum in the Binance Smart Chain. I need to swap it because I can bridge it. Uh, and let's go to the swap feature and I will swap USDT for Ethereum. I can find it here. It's better to always check contract address on the coin market cap. For example, if you go to Ethereum page, you can find Binance Smart Chain contract here. So Ethereum is available on Binance Smart Chain as well. So it's good for us because we can get some Ethereum here. Let's pay the token address double check everything and let's swap everything I have in USDT to Ethereum I will get 004 and 5 Ethereum it will automatically looks for their best price to swap let's review and confirm the swap I need to switch chain to the Binance Smart Chain again now let's confirm swap and I confirm in the MetaMask pop-up as well. Okay, now we have some Ethereum in the Binance Smart Chain and let's go to the bridge and change destination network to Arbitrum. Choose Ethereum here. Let's send everything that I have to the same address. So basically if you want to change recipient address you can edit it here but by default your address will be here and uh, please note that there is a bridge fee of this amount of ethereum minimum transfer amount and 0006667 ethereum and the maximum is more than 11,000 and estimated time to transfer is 10 to 30 minutes let's approve and confirm now we need to give permission to access my Ethereum. Let's confirm. It's a first transaction. Let's review transfer. Now and confirm again. Now we need to wait for both transaction to, to be confirmed. First one is already done. And I will pause the video now and will resume it as soon as second transaction will be confirmed okay after 10 minutes of waiting it's still pending 
but the first transaction is completed so you can check tx hash here success so now it's safe to switch to arbitrum network and check if we got our tokens let's switch to arbitrum here and as you can see my ethereum is already here and if you click on these three dots and view account in explorer select internal transactions and we can see our transaction and it's in success state basically but for some reason on the bridge side it's still shown pending maybe it's some glitch or some error that will be fixed soon but but anyway guys it worked well and now i was able to successfully bridge ethereum from binance smart chain to arbitrum one please let me know if you was able to do the same as usually like and subscribe to the channel really appreciate that and see you soon